What is going on YouTube? It's AirJP back with a brand new review video. And as you can tell from the title, we're going to be taking a look at some crossover culture basketball gear here in just a few minutes. I will leave all of crossover cultures uh, information in the description box below, including their Instagram, as well as their website. If you want to purchase any of the gear we actually go over today, but I do want to give a big, big thank you to crossover culture for sending out this care package. It is very, very much appreciated. If you guys haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do so smash that subscribe button, hit that like button and definitely hit that notification bell so you know every single time I do upload a video. I do write performance reviews for Sneakers Detroit. It is all posted on their Instagram as well as on their actual website is where the reviews are actually posted. We will be doing performance review on these crossover cultures. I'm actually in the middle of doing a performance review on or actually initial testing on the Puma Clyde hardwoods at this minute. Um, as soon as I'm done with those, I will jump right into these crossover culture basketball sneakers. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, all my previous videos, all the information that I have given to you guys. And I hope after this video, it will make you have a little bit better understanding about the crossover culture brand and all that they bring to the table. And as I said, um, I'm very, very pleased and excited to get on the court in these and right out of the box, uh, these look very, very good to me, and I think they're going to perform very, very well overall on the actual basketball court. I don't think I already said this, but I will leave this in a, a description box below as well. But definitely give me a follow on Instagram if you haven't already. My Instagram username is the exact same as my YouTube channel name, AirJP11. So it is pretty easy to find me over there on Instagram as well. But with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in and check out the gear that Crossover Culture did send over to me. So first off, we've got a pair of shorts here. I really like these shorts. I really like the colors. It's got a really good uh, Miami vibe to it. Um, so I think they're very, very cool, very sweet. They actually have some sneakers that actually match these shorts. So that's a really cool thing. Uh, if you want your shorts to match your kicks on the court, I've always thought that, that was really cool or a cool thing that you could do. But they're actually called the Ambush Shorts and retail on these is $35. I believe that they're having a sale right now and you can actually get these uh, quite a bit discounted, you know, lower than that. But um, I will say this, sizing wise, they look pretty good. Um, these are a size large and they look like they're gonna fit me really well. So I would say basically true to size on uh, the actual apparel or shorts thus far that I have seen. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get out one pair of the kicks that they sent over to me. Um, the box is pretty sweet. I really like the artwork. They put, the box is really, really cool. I really like what they did with the box for the actual sneakers. So you got Crossover Culture, Kyo LP2, White and Tuxedo is the color code on these. $110 is the retail and size 11. So. Basically, they do say to go down half a size. Um, I actually am, as you guys probably know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a true uh, to size 11 and a half, but they did say as, you know, as I said, to go down half a size, so they did send me a size 11. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes. This is the white tuxedo pair, as I told you guys already. And overall, straight out of the box, as I said, there is some really, really cool detailing and features to this shoe. I think that it's very, very nice. And as I said, I think it's gonna perform uh, very, very well on the court. I'm actually very, very excited and intrigued to try these out because I haven't actually ever got to try out a pair of these on the court. So uh, when I did reach out and hear from them, um, I was very, very excited to find out that they were gonna send them to me and let me uh, actually write a performance review on the actual sneakers for them. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the actual key features. As I said, this is my first real time having a pair of these in hand. So I do wanna go over the details with you guys um, that is straight off their site and features to the actual shoe. So they do feature LP2 cushioning, which is a high rebound compound that doesn't break down like traditional phones, giving you an extra bounce that lasts longer. Uh, wishbone suspension plus shank wraps the heel and midfoot for stability while providing a cantilever effect to help absorb heel impact forces. 3D molded mesh materials for strategic support and added durability. Molded internal heel counter gives you stability and impact. Sharp tooth inspired outsole grips and grabs the ground for extra traction by premium full grain leather detailing. And as it, I already told you guys, they suggest going down half a size if you want a snug fit. So I haven't actually put these on foot or tried them on anything like that yet, but the cushioning is supposed to be very, very comfortable. I've heard from many other reviewers that the cushioning in the crossover cultures is a very, uh, it is a very comfortable shoe overall. Um, so we'll go over like the leather on the tongue that they're talking about, some of the leather hint details. This is obviously the crossover culture logo on the tongue. 
You can see on the medial side in here that it does say crossover culture. Um, on this uh, plate here, it is black with the white lettering, as you can tell. You do have crossover culture on the heel. And then you do have that uh, mesh upper, as it was talking about. It does feel pretty soft. Um, I do think that it's gonna perform well and break in well. Um, it does feel like it's gonna be pretty durable. Obviously, I'll give you more information in the written performance review after I do get to play in them a little bit. But as, as I said, overall, it seems like a really, really good shoe. Um, it seems like the hints, details, and features overall are gonna be really good. And then crossover culture is um, on the inside of the insole as well. I think the traction looks really good. Um, I think that it's gonna be really, really good for uh, quick movements, maybe uh, back and forth movements laterally. Um, vertically, I don't think there's gonna be any issues, but as I said, uh, laterally, um, I think that it's gonna perform really, really well. And as I said, that is another thing that we'll definitely go over in more detail, obviously, after I get them on foot and uh, get to start testing them and try them out. So let's go ahead and check out the last thing that they sent me here. It is another pair of sneakers, and this is the Kayo LP2. Uh, obviously, same box. As I said, I really, really dig these boxes. I think that it's really sweet, a really cool feature. Um, crossover culture, Kayo LP2. This is the black tuxedo pair, $110 retail, and size 11 again. I don't think I showed you guys the box on the other pair, so I'll go ahead and show you the box on this actual pair. You can see the color code and all that. So you got the crossover culture paper inside, and we'll go ahead and get these out and move the actual box out of the way and take a little closer look at this pair. So this is the exact same shoe, but just in a different colorway. This is, I guess, if you wanna say home and away, this is the actual black colorway where we just took a look at the white ones, obviously. Um, so pretty much same detailing, um, just kind of a reverse of the other shoe, as you can see here. Um, and on this, you do have standard black laces. On this, you do have standard white laces. Um, you do have the same leather on the tongue, crossover culture logo again, crossover culture logo on the back, as well as on the inside, you've got that crossover culture branding as well. I was gonna see what this, um, so basically this is just the same details that I went over with you guys on these little tags here um, that I read straight off the website. And the traction is obviously the same on this pair too. So these are the actual exact same model, just different colorways obviously. Um, as you can tell, the Kayo LP2 retail is $110, as I told you guys, and I do think that these are going to perform very, very well. As I said, guys, I know I'm kind of reiterating what I already said, but I don't think you understand how excited I really am to have these in hand. I think that it is going to be just a great shoe overall on the court. So definitely stay tuned. Um, for the performance review, not only for these, but as I said, I am in the middle of testing the Puma Clyde Hardwoods, and we will be getting that performance review out to you. Hopefully, by the end of next week, I will be doing testing those. Um, I've been putting in some really long work hours. I'm basically working right now uh, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, I basically can only get my workouts in either early, early morning or after 8 p.m. at night. So um, by the time I get to the gym, after I get off, it's usually at least 8 30 9 o'clock by the time i get changed and all that good stuff get freshened up for the court um or either go work out at the gym so it's working out but at the same time it is taking me a little bit longer uh, than normal to get my reviews out but i do appreciate you guys checking out the video i hope you guys really enjoyed it as i said definitely give crossover culture a follow and check out all of their other products they've got some low top versions i believe um, it may not be this exact same model but i know that they do have some lower top shoes and uh, they look really, really good as well. So there's tons of other products that they do have available and you definitely need to give them a follow and check them out if you guys haven't or have never known about the brand overall. But thanks again guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it and I really do appreciate all your guys' support. We'll be back very, very soon with some more sneakers. Peace.